Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hello. Welcome to Brit Pops Reacts with BP1 and BP2. There you go. Uh, we're Phil. here today with King Tut. Uh, Saturday Night Live. You turning sent me? Sent to... <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> from... Why are we doing this actually? It's a request. Uh, it, it is a request. It was uh, brought to our attention by the lovely Jamie M, who popped over and bought us some more caffeine to keep us pert and upright. Thank you very much. Yes, there you go. Indeed. In our BPR mugs. Uh, having a lovely cup of tea with you, hey, Jamie M. Uh, thank you for your support and for popping on to Patreon as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, so this Absolutely. is the um, ever, ever same looking um, Steve Martin. <laughs> Steve Martin, yeah. He when just seems this? to look the same. 1978, is that right? 1978, this is from, yep. Uh, yeah. uh, Saturday Night Live, King Tut. So, um, no idea what this is about, mate, but been dabbling a bit of Saturday Night Live. Uh, we did the um, Celebrity Jeopardy, and I think this is where sort of Jamie sort of picked up on the SNL and sent us this one. So, cool. let's dive right in. Let's get into Talk it. seriously, just for a moment. <laughs> One of the great art exhibits ever to tour the United States is the Treasures of Tutankhamun, or King Tut. But I think it's a national disgrace the way we have commercialized it with trinkets and toys, t-shirts and posters. And about three months ago, I was up in the woods and I wrote a song. I tried to use the ancient modalities and melodies. I would like to do it for you right now. Maybe we can all learn something from this. Okay. <laughs> Straight away. Straight away. King Tut. <laughs> now when he was a young man, he never thought he'd see King people stand in line to see the boy King. King Tut. <laughs> How'd you get so funky? Funky Tut. Funky Tut. Did you do the funky? <laughs> I was like beach boys, huh? <laughs> yeah. Now if I know they line up just to see you, I'd taken all my money and bought me a museum. <laughs> Buried with a donkey. He's my favorite honky. How high? He ate a crocodile. He gave his life for tourism. Gave his life for tourism. Golden idols. Golden idols. He's an Egyptian! Giving him a food mixer. Uh. Now when I die, I don't think I'm a nut. Don't want no fancy funeral. Just one like old King Tut. He could have won a Grammy. Stoner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but okay. It's, 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 it's crazy. Okay. Crazy guy. Uh, Very funny. He was fairly ripped there, mate. Yeah, he, he had some some shoulders on him and some biceps, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, to be so. fair. Been 33 out then. Back then yeah 1945 uh he was born 33 there um i was he just was looking 33 back. there 33 i think he had a gray wig on i was gonna say yeah uh yeah fair play i mean it was just, yeah commercial uh, i mean talk about showing how how it's been commercialized very very commercialized to make money um yeah. funny way of doing it especially right at the beginning saying it's 
a serious moment, and then the I first know. thing he does is this <laughs> crazy sort of <laughs> face. <laughs> But um, um, again, you know, he was somebody that was around. He sort of came onto the scene, didn't he? And then he was everywhere. I mean, I just looking down through his sort of um, movie list: The Jerk, Planes, Trains, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Pink Panther, Father of Bride, Free Amigos, Roxanne, Cheaper by a Dozen, Parenthood. The list goes on and on. I mean, L.A. Story mm -hmm. was another. You know, he seemed to sort of do everything. Um, I think he's now sort of concentrating more on the serious side of his bluegrass music i think he's pretty uh pretty good renowned banjo player oh really okay mm, yeah I yeah i can't say i mean i've not really seen a lot of steve martin movies um, right um so it might be worth at some point going and looking back to see what he's done because three amigos that was quite funny uh yeah a lot of them i mean weren't quite sure on the pink panther ones can't quite do better than uh you know who because I said that because I've forgotten who, but um, <laughs> uh, I think uh, I know what you mean. I can't think of the Clouseau? name. Clouseau, yeah. Big... Yes, yes, yes. Um, anyway, on that bombshell, yeah, it's just gone. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. I mean, like I say, we're we're sort of slowly getting into Saturday Night Live. So if you've got any other suggestions, um, please point them out, and I'm sure we'll go back soon. We would indeed. Uh, thank you to Jamie M for sending that one in. That's a request. Very kind we of do you. a request for you too as well. If you head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Britpops React, uh, you can also get a request in if you join our patreon.com forward slash no way as well. Uh, lots over there. Early releases, polls, videos that you can see down there. Uh, all sorts of stuff that we go behind the scenes and bits and bobs and early releases as well all yep. right yeah Fun. one thing left to say peter sellers just found it peter sellers of course peter sellers <laughs> yes <laughs> oh what more like uh, what did phil think that was a load of poppycock <laughs> oh. poppy well if you put it as sensible terms probably was but it was still a bit of a little giggle so um we give it a sort of thumbs well, up phil. ish Phil's yeah. giving it a bit harsh. I thought, uh, it was, I thought it was quite funny for 78. Yeah, yeah. What does Phil know? Exactly. Um, all right. All right. Until tomorrow there you go. for another reaction yep. from us. It's goodbye from uh, old uh, him over there. And it's a goodbye from... Oh, what's his name again? Peter Sellers. No, nope, him over there. And it's a goodbye from me. Cheers, Pete. Poppycock. <laughs> okay.